Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Uh, if you don't know, this is where I talk about my love for Star Wars. Today, I want to talk about the novelization of the expanded universe. <laughs> All right, the expanded universe. We call this, in short, the EU. So I'll keep saying the EU. You just understand that it's the expanded universe. Why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about the EU? Well, because a uh, long time ago, uh, when Star Wars first came out, the first movie, 1977, right? A New Hope. Uh, there was a book that came out after that, roughly, called Splinter in the Mind's Eye. Splinter in the Mind's Eye was a novelization. It was a new Star Wars story, and there was this hope, there was this idea that maybe it could be the next film. And we kind of read it hoping like, is it gonna be the next film? It wasn't, of course, you know, when Empire Strikes Back came out. But then since then, there's been other books that have had Star Wars story or use Star Wars characters. And uh, for a really long time, they were considered to be canon. And right around that time, there was like a trilogy of Han Solo stories. It was like Han Solo at Star's End, Han Solo's Revenge, Han Solo at the Lost Legacy. Like I read those too, but then after that, I really only read uh, the novelizations of the films and I never really got back into reading the expanded universe stories. So then of course there was the great Star Wars drought, right? We didn't have any films from Return of the Jedi all the way to Phantom Menace. And so in that time, I think everyone was just hungry for Star Wars stories. We were just hungry for more. And that's where all these expanded universe books really flourished and did well. There was all kinds of media where Star Wars was being told, whether it was in book form like this, or whether it was new action figures that were coming out or new toys. Uh, there was also the video game realm that was really big. There was lots of stories happening in the video game realm. And all of it was considered canon until uh, Phantom Menace came out, the prequels came out, and then f subsequent films like uh, Last Jedi, of course, Force Awakens, Solo. And so these movies started coming out and then people saw that the expanded universe had been kind of discarded and tossed. And uh, eventually it was said, well, the expanded universe is no longer canon. And this made a lot of people upset because they had fallen in love with these stories, fallen in love with these characters. And uh, there was even arguments that, you know, like, why did we make new movies with new characters and new plots when there was already perfectly good stories out there? And so I kind of have the advantage, I think, because I'm on the other side of things. I've seen the new films and I've, I've loved all the new films, but I've never really gotten back into the expanded universe books. And so what I can do now is I can go back and read the expanded universe books and maybe now say, really, are they as good as you remember? Are they great stories? Could they have made great movies? And maybe are some of them still canon? Are some of those stories still good enough that they could slide in with the movies that are out now and still be considered canon without disrupting the canon universe. So I got out one of my books and I went to the back and found the list of all the expanded universe books that I didn't have. And I went out and purchased every single one of them. <laughs> so I had them all lined up at my house and I'm gonna read them all in order. And every single time I finish one, I'll come back here and give you a review. And I'll tell you whether I liked it or didn't like it, whether I thought it's still a good story and holds up to uh, today's standards and whether we could have made it into a film lately. And if it fits into the current story, if it could still be considered canon. So real quick, just as a source of reference, I'm going to put all the books in order for you right now, just so that there's a list. So going forward, when you start watching these reviews, you'll say, oh, that's, you know, where's the list? Here is the list. And just so you know, I am using the original 1997 list. Okay. I'm using the 1997 list from Spectrum and Bantam Books. Of course, I know there are other books out there. I know there's been subsequent books released. I'm using the original 1997 list, only the books that were available in 1997 when the EU was in its heyday. So you want the list of books? Here we go. All right, so the books immediately following Return of the Jedi. The first book in the list is The Truce at Bakura, 
by Kathy Tires. So every time we say how many years after, it's always years after Return of the Jedi, not years after the previous book. So two and a half years after Return of the Jedi is the X-Wing novels. X-Wing Rogue Squadron series, uh, this was by Michael Stackpole. The first one, X-Wing Rogue Squadron. The second book was Wedge's Gamble. Uh, book three was The Kratos Trap and book four was The Back to War. Now there were books after this, there were more X-Wing books, but they were not written by Michael Stackpole. Four years after Return of the Jedi is The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. Five years after Return of the Jedi, we have the Thrawn trilogy from Timothy Zahn. This was a very popular series. Lots of people love this series. Uh, Heir to the Empire is book one. Dark Force Rising is book two. And The Last Command is book three. Seven years after Return of the Jedi, we have the Jedi Academy trilogy from Kevin J. Anderson. Jedi Search is book one. Dark Apprentice is book two. And Champions of the Force is book three. Eight years after Return of the Jedi, there are two books, uh, Children of the Jedi by Barbara Hambly and Dark Saber by Kevin J. Anderson. 10 years after Return of the Jedi is The Crystal Star by Vonda McIntyre. 12 years after Return of the Jedi, we have The Black Fleet Crisis books from Michael P. Cube McDowell. Uh, book one is Before the Storm, book two is Shield of Lies, and book three is Tyrant's Test. Thirteen years after Return of the Jedi is The New Rebellion by Christine Catherine Rush. And the last trilogy, 14 years after Return of the Jedi, is the Carillion Trilogy. These were a series of books by Roger McBride Allen. The first book is Ambush at Carillia. The second book is Assault at Salonia. And the third book is Showdown at Centerpoint. Now, of course, I want to review the Han Solo trilogy I mentioned earlier. I also want to talk about Splinter of the Mind's Eye. And yes, we will get into Shadows of the Empire by Steve Perry. That was a huge book that came around uh, the Empire Strikes Back uh, story. And I know Shadows of the Empire, that was gigantic. Like that had so many tie-ins that it was a video game they released books and they released action figures and stuff for it comic books it was it was all over the place so we'll talk about shadows of the empire as well hey real quick let me know what you think of the eu books maybe you've read some of these books already tell me in the comment section below which books were your favorite and i'll be sure to look out for those and i'll see you guys next time may the force be with you